This is Starcade, TV's first video arcade game show, starring your favorite video games and some brand new ones being introduced to the public for the first time anywhere. And now, here's your host for Starcade, Jeff Edwards. All right, thank you very much. A couple of hot teams today backstage. We are warming up for today's big match because today one of these teams is going to have the chance to win their very own video arcade game. Players, you ready? Yeah. Ready? All right, let's go play Starcade. Here we go. studio audience. Hello there at home, and these are our contestants. We're going to have a good show for you today. Let's meet our contestants right now. You are? Mark Fass. Mark, how are you doing? Tell me a little bit about yourself. I'm 13. I'm from Stockton, and I like golf and tennis and frisbee. Oh, terrific. That sounds really good. And you are? I'm Leonard Fass, and I teach school in Stockton, and I'd rather ask the questions than answer them. Okay. Ask me a question. You can ask me a question. How long have you been doing this? Uh, about 30 seconds so far, Leonard. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, on my left, I have... Jeff Dasman. Jeff? 14. I uh, go to Sarah High School in San Mateo, and I'm a sophomore. You're 14? Yeah. By the time you're 18, you're going to be 9 feet tall. <laughs> Holy mackerel. This is your dad. Your name, sir? Hi, Jeff. I'm Jim Datsman. I'm the police chief in South San Francisco and a real racquetball fiend, softball, and I love video games as a nice letdown. Well, that's great. If the police chief uh, hangs around the arcade, you know it's okay, I guess. Nice to have you all here. As you know, our contestants are matched up based on their playing ability in today's games, and one of you is going to have a chance to win this fabulous video arcade game. Today, it is Doradon. Doradon. So shake hands. Shake hands. Let's go play Starcade. There we are. Head on to the podiums, and while you're going to the podiums, and Kevin will tell us the five games we're going to deal with today. Jeff, today's games will take you from an electronic bowling alley to a cat and mouse fantasy and on to the outer reaches of the universe. Our first game today, Row Bowling, a game of strikes and spares. Next, it's Popeye, the man himself and all his friends. Mappy, a cat and mouse chase for loot. And then on to Donkey Kong Jr. and Son tries to free Papa. And Galaxian, and the aliens are upon us. Jeff? Okay, Kev, thanks a lot. Those are today's five games. All of you had a chance to play them before today's show. One of them, as you know, is a mystery game. If you pick it in the first three games, automatically you're going to win a prize. And Kevin, right now, will tell our home audience what the mystery game is. The mystery game is Mappy. Okay, Fasses and Dotsmans, I have a question for you. First team to buzz in gets to answer the question. Answer correctly, and you'll pick the first game we'll play today. Here's the question. The guzzler shoots A, gasoline, B... Yes, Dotsman. Water. Water. Water is right. Okay, Jeff, that means that you get to pick uh, what game you want to start with. What will it be? Popeye. Popeye. Popeye it is, and we will ask uh, Kevin to tell us how to uh, play Popeye. Kev? Well, blow me down, mates. It's me, Popeye, catching hearts, musical notes, and words of love tossed to me by my sweet olive oil, performing me duty by punching out a few obstacles thrown in me way, and giving Bluto a lickin' after I've had me spinach, fighting off the sea hag with me friends Sweet Pea and Wimpy putting in an appearance. What a way to spend me day, cause I'm Popeye, the sailor man. <laughs> I love it when you do that. Okay, Popeye, the game is, and uh, let's see, you, uh, Jim, or Jeff, rather, you pick the game. Are you going to play it? Yeah. Uh, you play Popeye. Are you, uh, you pretty good at Popeye? Not really, but I'll try. He will be. He will be, yeah, <laughs> or else, <laughs> right? Be. Okay, Chief of Police of South San Francisco. A couple of hints uh, for you. There's a couple ways to do it. Uh, I've been telling some people hints about Popeye. I think I'm telling them the hints that are too complicated. If you come right down the stairs from where you are and wait there, the spinach will show up at that level. Bluto will be coming to you. You can grab the spinach, go to the middle, drop through, and you'll be able to hit Bluto, and you get about two or 3,000 points right off the bat. Okay. Okay, and you heard that too, uh, did you, Leonard and Mark? That's okay. Yeah. Get ready to go. You have 50 seconds. You turn around, get ready, get set, play. <laughs> Gonna get down the stairs. No, nope. get down there, wrapped around instead. Gonna hit the punching bag. Yeah, that's all right. That did it. There's 2,000 points. You can still get the spinach. Grab a couple of hearts. Hey, he's got the spinach. Will he catch Pluto? Don't think so. Go down the middle. No, nope. he's not gonna catch him. You're gonna be in trouble. 
Bowles will look out. Got a heart, all right. 19. Good punch. Doing fine. 14 seconds. Ooh, there'll be another pop by showing up. You might get some more points. Let's see if you have enough time. Seven seconds. Jim, okay. Uh, Jeff, I mean, uh, Jim, you guys head on back and Mark and Leonard will come down. Okay, Mark, right over there, please. Leonard, who's, uh, which, which one of you is going to play this game? Okay, you're going to play the game. Did you hear the hints I gave them? Yeah. What would you think of? I could do better. Better than my hints? Yeah. Okay, all right. Let's see what happens. Mark, Leonard, you have 50 seconds. You ready? Get set, play. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, he knows what he's doing. He's wrapping around. He's going to go for the punching bag when Bluto comes in the middle. There's Bluto in the middle. He got the punching bag. Good. That's good for a couple thousand points. Now he goes for the spinach. Will he go down the middle? Yes, he will. All right. Here's a pop five player. 30 seconds to go. Plenty of time to grab hearts now while Bluto's in the drink. Mark, you were right. You couldn't do better. You know something? Those are the hits I've been giving uh, the other people who didn't follow. That was great. Good for you. Thanks. Good play. Leonard, nice. congratulations to your team. Goodbye. Are you guys leaving? Okay, I'll see you later. We'll be right back to see who gets to choose the next game of Start Game. Stay with us. The Starcade audience travels by way of Trailways bus lines. No bus, plane, or train gets you there cheaper than Trailways. Go Big Red, go Trailways. The grand prize today on Starcade is the video arcade game Doradon, a beastly game with you in pursuit. The Doradon beasties are hot but can be cold. If you do it right, it's Doradon, a hot and cold game furnished by Falcon International. And now back to Starcade with Jeff Edwards. All right, let's see where we are after our first game of Popeye. Leonard and Mark, you have so far a score of 9,760. Jeff and Jim, you have a score of 4,080. Well, Jeff, it looks like you picked a game that Mark was good at. Yeah. All right. You're, uh, you're in the lead, uh, Fosses, but there's still one more game, of course, in this round. And what we do then is we, we told the points scored on both games, and the grand total will determine who gets to play the name of the game board. I have a question for you. Hands on buzzers. Here we go. Buck Rogers pilots his spaceship through formidable smasher tunnels and around the towering spires of A, a cosmic city, B, heavily armed space probes. A Dotsman. A. A, a cosmic city. Ooh, right, you are. Yeah. Now, this time, your dad, Jim, is going to play the game, so you better pick a game that he's good at. What are you going to play? Galaxian. Okay. Right. Galaxian? Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Galaxian is the game, and we'll have Kevin explain it to us. Kev? We are the Galaxians with but a single ship to stop the attacking aliens. We can zap them while they're in formation or get them in flight for bigger points. And if we can zap the flagship and its escorts, that's best of all, for we are the Galaxians. All right, Jim, all I can tell you about this is when the aliens attack, you score more points than when they're sitting in convoy. And when you see two red ships and a yellow coming at you, if you hit the red ships first and then the yellow ship, you score extra points, all right? Got it. Sure. <laughs> Good luck. Here we go. Get ready. Get set. Play. <laughs> Comes the attack. Got him. Good. Now, two reds and a yellow. Ah, oh, missed him. 40 seconds. Two reds and a yellow. Can you get him? No? You get him. Okay, 30 seconds. Ah, oh, too bad. You have another ship coming up. Doing fine. 20 seconds. 
I don't think you'll have enough time. Let's see if you do. Uh, 1,820. <laughs> okay, Jim, nice going. Jeff, congratulations to your team. Head on back. Leonard and Mark will come down. Okay, Mark and Leonard, you'll be facing uh, the uh, aliens, too. And, Leonard, you're going to take it, huh? Yeah, I guess so. I have no other choice, right? No, you don't. That's right. You have no other choice, so you are taking it. Yeah. All right, watch out. Try to get two reds before you get the yellow, and you get extra points. Here we go. 50 okay. seconds to play. Come right over here, Mark. And cheer your dad on. The one player button's over there. Yes. Ready, get set, play. Okay, first attack is Jeff. Two reds in the yellow. Did you get them? No, they got you. Another one coming up. Here comes the attack. One more shot at it here, about 25 seconds. <laughs> 20 seconds, keep firing. Look out. Oh, no, they got you again. That's it for you, Leonard. <laughs> you and Mark go on back. Head on back, because we're going to total up all the scores now. The Dotsman's caught up a little bit. Whether it's enough, I don't know. All of you had a chance to play Popeye and Galaxian. Now, two of you are going to play for a very special prize. So as we total up the scores for both games, we'll see who gets to play the name, the game board. So it's the Dotsman's against the Fosses, police chief of South San Francisco against a school teacher. And the Fosses, you have 10,680. <laughs> Dotsman's have 5,900. Fosses, come on down. Commanding lead, and you'll play the name of the game board. Right over here, please. Uh, over to this side. There we are. That's just fine. Now, behind you is uh, the name game board. We're going to show you four video games. If you name the games correctly, you have a special prize coming to you. We'll go alternately. So who's going to start? Who's first. I'm first. You're first. Okay, Mark, turn around, and you too, Leonard. Up in the upper left-hand corner, you see a screen there. Is Bagman. that... Well, I didn't even give you a choice. Would you call it out? What'd you say? Bagman. That's right. Okay, let me give you the choice now. Screen number two. Is that Amadar or Tasmania? Uh, Tasmania. No, sorry, that's wrong. Screen number three, Sinistar or Star Trek? Sinistar. Sinistar is right. Good for you. Number four, Rocket Racer or Zaxxon? Zaxxon. Zaxxon is right. Okay. You got three out of four. We have a gift for three out of four, Kevin. It's the Genesis Telesystem from American Bell. It features a clock alarm, a speakerphone, a hold button, and a variety of cartridges allowing you to customize Genesis for your needs. Available at Bell Phone Centers nationwide. Oh, good for you guys. Okay, Leonard and Mark, you're welcome. Thanks. You guys have a nice lead. However, there's still one more round to play before we decide who gets a chance at their own video arcade game. We'll play that round right after this. Here's the latest news from the Starcade Hotline. It's Lance Hoffman, Starcade's Dolly Grip, singing his own composition, The Sinistar Blues. Early this morning, I heard somebody say, I hunger. Well, me and Sinistar, we were flying above the sky. Gathering up the crystals, trying to keep ourselves satisfied. Well, me and Sinistar, we're gonna ride on down the line. Let's go. Ah, the Sinistar Blues. That was Lance Hoffman. Now back to Starcade. Here's Jeff Edwards. Okay, Kev, thank you very much. Well, this is round two. The big challenge is only one game left to play. This time, only 40 seconds left to play it. Then we're going to total up all the scores in all the games, and whoever is the top scorer is going to get a chance to win the grand prize, Doradon. So if you're ready, I have the last question for you. And here you go. In Pengo, how many diamond blocks are there on the... F yes, fast. Three. Three is right. The choices were four or three. You got it. Now, before you... 
Before you pick the game, I want to tell you, the, the uh, mystery game is still up there, and uh, I think you have in your mind what you want to pay, play. What do you yeah. want? Donkey Kong Jr. Donkey Kong Jr. That was not the mystery game. The mystery game was Mappy, but Donkey Kong Jr. is an interesting game, and uh, we'll ask uh, the son of an ape to tell us about it. And I can get you a great price on bananas, Jeff. Mario beware of Donkey Kong Jr. He's crafty, he's fearless, and out to rescue Papa Kong from your clutches. Scoring points as he climbs, avoiding the brigade of snapping jaws, ape-eating birds, and energy pods. Watch out, Mario. The son of Donkey Kong is out to rescue Papa. Well, Leonard and Mark, uh, now, of course, you have the choice of who's going to play the game. Who's going to play it? He's going to play it. All right, Mark, are you as good at uh, Donkey Kong Jr. as you were at Popeye? Yeah. I hope so. Oh, man, I'm going to watch them because I'm terrible at this game. I'm going to watch. You can give me some hints a little later on after the show, okay? Okay. All right, you have 40 seconds. Get ready to play. Come on over here, Leonard. There we go. Ready, get set, play. <laughs> Okay, Mark, you played that really well. Nice going. Leonard, congratulations to your team. Head on back, and Jeff and Jim will come down. And who's going to play this one? Right here. How Put good are you at Donkey Kong Jr.? Not too good, but... <laughs> well, yeah, he picked the game this time, so he kind of put you in a quarter, but you need some points, so we'll wish you extra good luck, okay? Thanks. Okay, here we go, Jeff. 40 seconds to play. Get ready, get set, play. <laughs> About 15 seconds, you get a couple more points. Oh, oh no! <laughs> 2,900 points. Head on back. I don't think that's quite enough to beat the lead the Fosses have. But we are going to total up all the scores, and we'll find out who's going to have a shot at their own video arcade game. Uh, before we do that, you're great, great teams, uh, both great thank fathers you. and sons, thank and thank uh, you. we appreciate you coming down here to Star Arcade. Uh, so the grand total for the Fosses is 13,880. Dotsmans have 8,800. Fosses are the winners of the day. Congratulations. Thank you. We have some nice gifts for you guys. Uh, Jim and Jeff, nice to meet you. Hope you had a good time here in Star Arcade. And for you, the big winners, we have something extra special. Kevin? It's the Texas Instruments Home Computer and Software for education, home finance, and entertainment. You're not just playing, you're learning with the home computer and software from Texas Instruments. Yes. And now, well, you're welcome. I hope you have a good time with that computer. And you're also going to have a great time with your own video arcade game, if you can win it. We'll find out if they can right after this. Some of our contestants and some members of the studio audience will receive Trigger Elite, the high-performance joystick from Electra Concepts. With select sensitivity settings, rapid-fire bar, five-year guarantee, and more, your video system's complete with Trigger Elite. And electronic fun with computers and games. It's the magazine of the computer age. Fun to read, witty, and informative. It's the ultimate magazine for gamers and computer users of all ages. 
All right, thank you very much. Welcome back to Starcade. Now the fastest are the big winners of the day, and you have a big challenge now. A chance to win your own video arcade game. We have still uh, two games left unplayed, Pro Bowling and Mappy. Now we told you during the commercial break that if you picked Pro Bowling, you'd have to score at least 231 points. If you picked Mappy, you'd have to score at least 1,883 points. Those are the average scores of the more than 20 other players who played these same games. I understand you made your decision, and you picked... Mappy. Mappy. Mappy it is, Mark. That means if you score 1,883 points or more in 30 seconds, you're going to win Doradon, okay? <laughs> all right. Now, we're going to have Kevin tell us about Mappy while we all go over and get ready to play. This game is full of cat burglars. Real cats, that is. There's only one Mappy, a mouse, of course, to save the valuables. He runs around on his little legs collecting the goodies, bouncing to higher levels, and bopping the cats by opening and closing doors in their faces. Some of the doors release waves to bop them. He's just a little guy, uh, that is a little mouse, but Mappy does a mighty job. Okay, thanks, Kevin. Okay, Mark, you're going to play the game, I presume? Right. All right. Mappy it is. You did great on Donkey Kong Jr., wiped everybody out on Popeye, and uh, how do you feel about Mappy? Pretty good. Yeah, you like this game? Yeah. All right. Uh, Leonard, uh, tell me, how does, how does he do on his homework? He does very well on his homework. Yeah. Get all A's, Mark? Pretty much. Pretty close. All right. Well, you're a great game player, and I think you're going to be taking home that Doradon. All you have to do, uh, although it sounds simple, and not to me it isn't simple, all you have to do is score 1,883 points or more in 30 seconds, and Doradon is yours. So we'll wish you good luck. Ready to go? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Get ready. Get set. Play. <laughs> Looking to beat 1,883. There we go, 200, good jump. Oh, he knows what he's doing. 1,000, 15 seconds. If he doesn't get caught, it's, oh, he's going to get it. He's got it, sure, you got it. Congratulations to you, Mark. You didn't even take all of the time. You've got yourself a door done. I'll shake your hand. Leonard, nice boy. You must have a nice family. Thanks for being here. Starcade. For more information about Starcade, visit www.starcade.tv and g4tv.com/starcade.